People normally think that you must have difficulties to pray. They do not know about prayer. If you pray, the heart you promised and made up before God solidifies like rock and will not change. You must pray. Then you will receive an answer and know the situation so you can prepare beforehand and know and rejoice. You must pray. Then God and the Holy Spirit will have a mercy on you, help you and be with you. If you don't pray deeply, you will complain and grumble, and you will distrust and even slander. You must pray, then God will show you well-being things of this physical and spiritual world and help you realize and gain them. You must pray. You won't lose nature, lives, your possessions or good things. You must pray, then God the Holy Spirit and the Holy Son Lord will be happy and your body, soul and spirit will live united with the Trinity and the Lord. You must pray, then your soul and spirit will have clean deeds of righteousness and will wear clean clothes. You must pray, then you can discern good and evil. You must pray, then your eyes will open and you will know what you do when you're in a situation where you need to choose between the two options. You must pray, you will become bold, gain strength from the Trinity and triumph. You must pray, then you will fight and overcome the temptations, enticement and schemes of Satan, demons and the wicked. You must pray, then you will control your temporal and wrath and rule over them. You must pray, then you won't remove your shoes of the gospel. You must pray, then you will evangelize and gain lives and manage and lead them. You must pray, then you won't fall asleep in your faith. You must pray, then you won't lean towards the old faith, the former times and you won't fall asleep in faith. If you fall asleep in faith, you cannot receive the word of the time period. If you don't pray, you will fall into temptation and suffer. Amen.